Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Ensembles Refrain Challenge, which is the Atheon Challenge within the Vault of Glass Raid. If you like this video, if you find value out of it, feel free to like my, the video and subscribe to my channel and head to my Discord, I really appreciate it. So this challenge can actually be a little tricky, especially if you're doing a higher difficulties, but I, I do wanna talk about it a little bit. So in this challenge, what you're actually gonna do is every person who gets teleported to Mars or Venus, when they do it within that instance, they actually each have to shoot an oracle and it has to be a separate oracle. And when I say shoot, that means taking it down. Obviously, if you take one shot on it and someone else takes it down, that person takes it down is going to be the person who takes credit and is the person that can't shoot another oracle during that phase. Now, this gets tricky because one of the people that's in the room is actually running the relic. So obviously, at that at some point, you can't shoot through the relic. So obviously, while you're holding it, so obviously you do need to put it down at some point. What I would do is as soon as I get in, I would declare basically an order, typically one, two, three. Now, some people have recommended that you have the relic sh person shoot last. I actually think that the relic person should do it first. Now, I'll tell you for a couple reasons why, but before that, let's, let's go into what you should bring in. Because of this challenge, because everyone has to shoot one, I would definitely come in with a high pirate sniper. And in some cases you might want to do Zeno, especially if you think that on a regular basis, when you get warped in, you're going to be the person who's going to carry the relic. Xenophage is going, it's gonna limit some of your DPS options, so not everyone can do it, but it will make it foolproof to make sure you can get those oracles down. I would also put the mods on, if you have raid armor, that you get extra super ability from shooting oracles because everyone's gonna be doing it. So that's another thing you could do to help you when you get to DPS phase. So the reason I recommend that the, that the relic person go first is primarily for the last phase. It really doesn't matter in the first two, well, that last phase, one of the tricks with this is if you're not careful, you're going to slow the fire team down because you're not going to have the relic person coming through the portal as quickly as possible. So what I would do in that last phase is I would have the relic person basically cleanse real quick, drop the relic when they see it spawning, shoot the first oracle, and then what I would have them do is do a really quick cleanse and then go ahead and head towards the portal. Because then what's going to happen in short order is the next two people are going to go and shoot theirs and head back to the portal. That way, as soon as they get to the portal, you can cleanse them and all go through. That way, you minimize distractions and you allow the fire team to get through as quickly and let that relic get to the fire team as quickly as possible. Besides that, like I said, just make sure your whole fire team, because again, it's random who goes through, because sometimes some teams rely on just one person or a couple people being able to shoot the oracles. So make sure everyone knows how to shoot the oracles and that everyone has the correct weapons to be able to do that. The other thing to be that's a little tricky sometimes is when you drop the relic, if you're not careful, because people are sometimes staying behind you. Sometimes if someone's immediately behind you and the relic is sitting there on the ground, if they're not careful, it actually can stop them from shooting through the uh, relic. So again, just be careful about that. So do that, and then that's the challenge. Again, it can be a little tricky, especially in harder uh, uh, difficulties. So again, I would just recommend that everyone be comfortable shooting oracles and that you have good collaboration between the team and everyone's doing their callouts. And that's the video and the challenge. If you like the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, hop into my Discord, and we can talk about what's next. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.